Mentally, it was hard because we came straight off of 2019 World. I was in such great shape. The transition from 2019 to 2020 was so easy and I had never been so ready to compete in the beginning of a year ever. Um, and so I was just super, super bummed out about it whenever I heard that it was postponed and then the uncertainty of how long it was gonna be postponed and I was just kind of angry. I was mad, I was annoyed, I was upset because I felt like I had just been so prepared. Never in my life have I been that prepared. So I felt like just it sucked for me personally. Obviously I wasn't the only athlete going through it. And I know some athletes weren't as prepared. So it's like, okay, we get more time. But for me, it's like, no, I was finally ready, finally on top of my game. She's very close to her full potential, yeah. Because In competition especially. Yeah. Because skills-wise, she could do, she could try a couple more tricks. But then how many times can you do it on the hard surface? How competing with pressure many weeks in a row, um, health, you know, being healthy is just, I think she's near what she can do. To me, whenever I go out there, I just try to do my gymnastics and what I train to do. So even if I do step out of bounds, I know like for other people, it's like, oh, you're still gonna win. But for me, it's like, yes, but I've trained it so hard to not step out of bounds. So I just know what I want to accomplish at certain meets. So if you see me like get upset if I fall here, even though I'm still gonna win or I still may win, it's just like, I know I can do better. So I have set expectations for myself. For her, it's what she wants. She has high standards for herself. She doesn't need the pressure from anyone else. She wants to be the best she can be. And I think she's the, her hardest critic is herself.